Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I hope that you've had a good week and I've had a pretty good week. We haven't been to the beach. It's been kind of rainy this week, but I did get some stuff done and I got several gift boxes that I'm excited to show you. And um, the first one I'm going to show you is from Lori and I, she's one of my subscribers and she has sent me a box before. She is the one that sent me the um, shower oil and the wipes that I love and the some other a leather lipstick and some stuff like that she has been really good at sending me some things that I've never tried before and yesterday I posted a picture of this lipstick that she sent me that I am just in love with so I'm gonna start off with the things that she sent me she sent me this it palette that I didn't have and it is the let's see it Lux High Performance Eyeshadow Palette. And I got this package on like Tuesday, I think. So I've used all of it, I believe. Not all of it, but a lot of it. So I've used this, and she said that she really loves the blue. I haven't been brave enough to use the blue yet, but I have used, I think, all these colors, especially that one, because that one is the Je ne sais quoi. So I was curious. And um, the black is really good. You can see I've used the black as liner. It Cosmetics ha has been impressive to me. They do a good job. And then this is another It Cosmetics thing that she sent me. It is the, let's see, Radiance Palette. And it is really neat. And I've been using this, I think, almost every day. It has the bronzer, the Naturally Pretty Blush, and then this was something different. I like how this little when you flip up this paper, then you can read it right. It's neat. They were thoughtful with that. It says, um, it's your color, correcting brightener. And then it's your naturally pretty blush. It's your perfect warmth bronzer. And I have been using this kind of down the center of my face and on my forehead and on my chin. And a little bit, kind of using this like I would, just like a sculpting palette almost, but with a little bit more color. So, love that. It's been, I've kind of been into... Oh, and I forgot to bring out one thing I wanted to show you. I've kind of been into, and this is how I am in the summer, I really love lashes, liner, lips, but not, I'm not as much into, you know, smoky eyes and a bunch of different eyeshadows and stuff like that. I kind of like more like the Angelina Jolie or what I call like the Russian girl look where they barely have on any. They just have their mascara and a little crease color and a nude lipstick. And um, let me right now go get the lashes that I'm wearing. This so is I can probably going to be, yeah. as usual, a scattered video. I have been, today's one of those days I've had, literally, I think I've had on three or four different outfits because it's just one of those days I want to feel comfortable and I didn't want to wear a dress. It was just weird. So, and then I put on my makeup all the way, I mean, to my eyeshadow and eyeliner and my face was just flaking so bad from my Retin-A. You know, some days it's just worse than others. And so I had to take off all my makeup and do my Clarisonic on my face. So it's just been crazy. Anyway, okay, these are the lashes that I'm wearing. And I ordered them from House of Lashes. And I heard about this place from Holly. But anyway, um, Holly makes I up. They sent me, I've ordered from them before. And so they sent me like a little sale thing over July 4th and they had this new style and it's called Bambi and they're so pretty. When I got them though, I thought, oh my goodness, they're just going to be too long and too crazy for me to wear. But I put them on for the first time yesterday and I love them. They remind me of the MAC, I believe they're number seven lashes, whichever MAC lashes have the big clumps like this. And what's different about them, and the same thing with the MAC ones, is they're not as up and out as I'm used to. They're more just kind of out, and they're just different. I've enjoyed them. So, just so you know, that's the ones that these are. And so, I've enjoyed, I always just love lashes. I mean, my lashes are pretty good, but there's just nothing like a good set of lashes. Okay, she, Lori was nice enough to send Brooke three pairs of sunglasses and they are mark new york she said they're the kind that they're not crazy expensive so if she were to lose them but she's been waiting to wear them little aviators they're precious they look so good on her 
I but these are um, my favorite. So these thank are, you that for that, Lori. I'm gonna go. Actually, I'm gonna go give these. Here to we go. Now. Okay, so much good stuff. She sent me one of these things to put my hair back with when I am doing a shower, or a lot of times I'll use those when I'm taking a shower but not washing my hair. This, I love this. This is an Inglot. Okay, a lot of this stuff she got from her med spa or spa that she goes to to get facials. And they sell a lot of unique products. Some of those lip pencils that she sent me from before were from there. And this is an Inglot lipstick. Let's see what kind it is because it's one of those slim ones. Lipstick Rouge. And it is so pretty. It's one of those lavender type nudie pinks. And the color is, um, oh, it's a slim gel I don't know if there's stick. a name on here or not, but it says number 61. And it is so pretty. I will swatch it. I don't know if it'll swatch as good as it would on my lips. Yeah, you can see. So it's one of those just beautiful lavender pink nude colors. I love it. And she sent me this, which I have never tried, the Living Proof Style Extender. Locks in your style longer. I cannot wait to try this because, for instance, yesterday I got my roots done and she used this new thing. So many of you would probably love this, but it's the Redken. Oh God, I saved a picture so I could um, tell you exactly what it was. I looked it up. Let's see, photos. Um, here it is. It's called the Redken Steam Infusion. And it's a machine that they use at Ulta, where I go get my hair cut. And um, they put in like a smoothing product, and then they put in that protein product. And they, you know, flat iron your hair. It's You feel like it's similar to like a keratin treatment, but it's steam. So it like locks in those products, and it makes your hair super straight. I mean, so straight, it's unbelievable. I posted a picture on my Instagram yesterday um, of me yesterday afternoon. John and I were talking on the porch and he took a picture of me sitting in my rocking chair and you'll see how straight it is when it's out. Now today it was so straight and flat, almost like I've missed a piece here, no that's from my ponytail I think, um, that I just put it in a ponytail because it was just too, I would have had to do a bunch of stuff to it to make it look right. Anyway, so interested to see how that goes because I'm loving it straight lately. Okay, um, God, I don't know where to start, where to go next. She sent me several, several of the Charlotte Tilbury products, and I did not have a one of them. This one is the Lip Cheat Pencil in Pillow Talk, and it's just a good nudie pencil to, you know, when you're putting on a nude, you need some type of liner, I think, unless you're just doing a gloss. I always feel like I need some type of nude liner. And then she sent me three of these beach sticks. And I used one, that's the lipstick, let's see. Used one already. Let's see. Um, which one did I use? It was the peachy one. So this one is Las Salinas. I think this might be the one I've used. Yes, and it was, no, 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 this one's brighter. Well, it looks brighter on camera than it does on here. This is actually like a peachy tone. That's so weird. I don't know, it might be the brighter, but it's not fuchsia like it looks right here. That is weird how it's changing right there. La Salinas, and then this one is um, Moon, Moon Beach, and it's kind of like a highlighter type color. That one's pretty true. It's probably not as peachy as it looks there. But, um, so you could just, they go right on. She said she was having trouble getting them to last. Mine lasted pretty well, but I could tell it was one of those things I needed to put on over my powder. Not when, you know, over powder before I fix plus. Because if you put it right on your dewy skin, I don't think it would last as well. And then this one is, let's see, um, Formentera. Yes, and this one is kind of like a good contour. You can see I've used that one too. I used that one the other day to like contour with, and then I put the Salinas on top, but they're neat. They're just like the, um, 
I don't think they're as dry as the multiples. But um, so I love those. I love getting tr to try those. And then this is one of the lipsticks that she sent me. And there was one, both of them are just awesome. This is Bitch Perfect. <laughs> and it is a beautiful nude. I mean, gorgeous. So pretty. I don't know if it'll swatch very well. There it is. And my skin is so dark right now, it's going to be hard to see any of these when I swatch them. Okay, then she sent me this. This is really, this is really pretty. That was so southern, wasn't it? This is Coachella Coral. And from Charlotte Tilbury. Gorgeous. See, something's happening that's making my corals look fuchsia. That is so weird. Let's see what it does when I... Of course, this is a pinky coral. Beautiful. Her lipsticks are really nice. Okay, and then this was the star of the show here. It was a brand I've never heard of, and then she also sent me a sample of this, the Wonder Glow Instant Soft Focus Beauty Flash. I think this is what she talks about all the time, so I'm anxious to use that too. Okay, this is a new brand product. When I saw it, I had never seen it before or heard of it. And that's when I asked her, where did you hear of this, you know? And she said that they sold it at her spa that she goes to. And so this is a company that is um, a woman started and um, she has several different products. Okay, she sent me three of her lip products and one of them I have on now. And it's the one that I had on my, in my Instagram post yesterday. And it's the Girlactic Le Cream Lipstick in Naked. Gorgeous. It reminds me of the, I don't know if any of you got those Susan Posner lipsticks that Rhonda sent me a long time ago. That's the consistency. It is just the most beautiful nude. I've got it on now. I don't want to cake too much on. And yesterday I wore it with IT Cosmetics Buff Nude. Today for the video so I could have a little bit more lip definition, I put on Blushing Nude from IT Cosmetics. And this lipstick, I put it on yesterday before I got my hair done. And three to four hours later, it was still on and beautiful. And it's very creamy. I think it's described as like a semi-matte. It's... It is, it's just like a creamy matte is what it's like and it's gorgeous. So that is something I would definitely recommend. This is another one called Beautiful and I tried this on last night and this is a gorgeous peachy nude. It's kind of like a true Bridget Bardot color. Of course, it's coming off a little bit, um, little bit pinkier for some reason I don't know if the light I'm using or what is bringing everything pinkier but it's peach and it's gorgeous it's gonna look good with um, either I would probably put it with spice or if I wanted a different type look maybe oak or the Dior linen so beautiful I'm, I really love those and then this is something that's different it's the matte lip paint and when I was reading her Instagram, this Girlactic site, when I was reading her Instagram and her um, blog or her webpage, a lot of people really liked this. And this is a good, it's coming off pretty much true to color, a good mauve nude color, and it's called um, Starlet. So we'll swatch it, and I'll swatch it right here. Gorgeous. I can't wait to try that. I'll try that soon. I'll try that this weekend and try to post a picture. So, love those. I'm so excited about those. And then she sent me this from, I should have known this today. This is from Stella and Dot, which another one of my necklaces I'm wearing today. Vicki sent me from Stella and Dot. And I don't know the name of this. I should, but it is awesome. It is one of those cool layering necklaces and I love that it has like the rhinestone well it's not even rhinestones it looks like rhinestones yes it is it's on this side okay I had it on backwards or I'm showing you backwards it's got the rhinestones and everything with it and I love it 
That's perfect. So thank you so much, Lori. I've thanked her over and over again. I just love it all. And so I'm gonna go put this up okay, and I'll be right now. Back. The next box of goodies I got actually last Friday, after I did my video, I went to my post office box and I had gotten a package from Yvette and she does videos and I will put her link down below. And some of her best videos I think is she does really good healthy snacks and she has good taste in makeup and clothes and everything so she's been a subscriber of mine for a long time and she sent me a really good box of goodies one of them i had this on today and ended up i had this on with something else i think i had this on with shorts and ended up switching but i will wear this soon it's a really neat t-shirt peace love shopping i love that that should be my name and it is from Let's see, it was a place in Los Angeles. Project Social Tea, made with love in Los Angeles. And this is a medium and it fit perfect. So I love that. <laughs> perfect, perfect. And then this I have used and it is a beautiful wet and wild, it's called The Naked Truth. And I hope that it's still available because it is really nice. I really, I always like wet and wilds like bone type colors, which sounds funny but they always have the best light colors matter of fact I used this all over today before I put on um, just soft brown over this but it was just such a pretty color and so that is a very good little I guess palette you can't call it a quad and I am thankful for this because I have not been I've been wanting to try some of those Milani shadows and there was a Rimmel cream shadow I wanted to try, but I have not, now that the kids are out of school, I don't stop by like CVS and stuff like that as much. I don't go out as much shopping around or whatever. So she sent me Love a precious that. card. <laughs> and slow mice, that's so cute. Then she sent goodies for all of us. She sent this for John, and I actually had to, he had already taken this and put it on the counter for him to eat, but I told him, I said, you gotta wait till I show him. But these are some of the bars that she loves, the Quest bars. Double chocolate chunk flavor, the protein bars. And this one is cookies and cream. Only three net carbs. Huh, that's interesting. I might have to try this cookies and cream one. Okay, then she sent goodies for my kitties. And these are even the good, healthy kitty treats. And then for, um, is it kitties? Yeah, kitties and then the doggies with the wolf so they will love that and then for the kids or for will and the kids she sent some good cookies these are the good ones the european cookies the, the good biscuit type cookies and then this is these are the nail polishes that i've been wearing this is the one i had on pretty colors they're the nicole by opi and they are the carrie underwood collection and this one is the Goodbye Shoes, name of her song, putting on her Goodbye Shoes, and I love that. It's so good. It's like a army green, such a good neutral, and it reminds me, like I said, of camo. This is the one I have on right now, and it is awesome. It is beautiful. And this one is called it's Back is a Pass, pink, and it's called Carnival, I believe, Carnival Cotton Candy, and it's beautiful, real pretty pink, and it's I don't know, it's really, really pretty. It's got a little bit more depth than it's showing on there. And then a phone case. Give a girl the right shoes and she can conquer the world. I need to, if I could just, I have a, this kind of case on my phone right now because I've had the dropsies lately. So, but I need to start putting my pretty ones on there and being more careful. Okay. And so I'm going to put all this stuff up. Thank you so much, Yvette. I have thanked her. And like I said, I will put her link down below. And I just, I know that you will enjoy her video. And yesterday, so I got a surprise package from Karen, my friend Peep Jr. You guys, she has sent me things before. And she always sends me really neat stuff. And this is, she said that she got this and she has just loved it. This is very much needed at my house. It is the brush cleaner from Olivia Garden. And it is exactly what it says. I haven't used it yet. I just got it yesterday, but cleans out. Oh, look at that. That thing, this thing's like a weapon. <laughs> that would probably clean like the more boar bristly ones. And so I'm going to clean out all my brushes with that. Precious card as usual, explaining everything. 
Oh, so, so nice. Then it sent me a sample of the hairdressers Invisible Oil from Bumble and Bumble. This I have never tried. That she's some things that she's been loving that she wanted me to try. This is the Purology Fresh Approach Dry Conditioner for dry, undisciplined, color treated hair. Anti fade formula. So I'll let you know how that goes. Brooke to sneeze. Bless you, baby. <laughs> and then her. I think she goes to like a beauty supply place. They carry Youngblood, and so she sent me a Youngblood lipstick. And this one, I have not tried it yet, but it looks very promising. It's called Blushing Nude. And the reason I didn't try it is because when I got it, it had been hot outside. And when I opened it, it looked um, hot. I was scared to, I was scared it was too melty. So let's watch it. It's not gonna show here, but it's just that Ooh, that is beautiful. I love that. That reminds me a little bit of Rose Amethyst, a little bit. I have to let you know about that. It's got that little bit of a blue-pink tone to it. Very pretty. I'll wear that soon, too. So that was Young Blood Blushing Nude. Neat. And then I don't want to get that lipstick on this. But she, this is something she sent me a picture of months ago. I believe she got it at Target. They came out with a bunch of new scarves and it has a skull on it, like right here. And she says she tried to wear it. She just couldn't get used to that skull. It kept staring at her. <laughs> so we will wear this. So thank you so much, Karen. That was so sweet. And I will definitely report back on these products and let you know. And sure all of us could use that brush cleaner okay i just got a few things a few big things this week and this i'll be is right something back that i picked up when i was at ulta yesterday and i haven't used it yet so i'll let you know how it goes but they're on sale God, i can't even tell you how much it was it was like um i think 30 30 some dollars if i can find out i'll put right here but my hairstylist said that this was a good one and it gets good reviews and all that stuff it just looked like an interesting one to try but is the infinity pro conair and it says it dries up to 50 percent faster um ac motor design and it's it's got a good weight to it it just looks like it looked promising so i will let you know how it goes and it's got argan oil in it um ceramic i have been on a little so, bit of a handbag search i've had i've got some new ones from below the belt some clutches that i've been kind of we've been working on her and I just getting them looking at the different sizes and everything but they won't be available until I think she said in right around Christmas so but I've been craving kind of a new handbag and so I messaged Gracie at Valentino to see what they still had on sale so Gracie sent me the pictures of several things that they had left and I ended up getting a couple pairs of shoes even though I was looking for handbags and one of them I have on right now and it is, I've been thinking about these ever since I got, oh, I guess I need to take the price tag off. But ever since I got the pink ones, I have had these blue ones on my mind and they were still there available. This would eventually wear off. Oh, I'm about to get the goo gone now. Anyway, so these are the blue camo, just like the pink ones. I love them, they have the little blue thing right there. And they were 40% off and just, very comfortable if the pink ones had not been so comfortable i wouldn't have even thought about them but they're just so comfortable and so this is what i'm wearing today and then these were even less they were just like originally less and i she asked me and sent me pictures of them several times and i said no and then i just i thought well they're not patent like my Manolo, so they'll be a little bit different, and they are. I'm so glad I got these. These are just beautiful. These are just the plain pink Valentinos with the little silver stud, and these were, gosh, I can't remember the exact price, but they were, they started out way less than the camo ones, and then they were 40% off, and they're totally different than my Manolo pink ones, they're leather, and these are more of a bright, bright pink, more of a highlighter type pink, whereas the other ones are more of that fuchsia pink. Anyway, never too many pink shoes anyway. So, love these. And 
I am going to go right now. My shoe is sticking to the floor. That I'm gonna is that and be right back. it. That was enough. Definitely. Thank you to all of you that sent me such wonderful goodies. And I'm going to do a quick outfit of the day and then let you go. And I don't know if I'll get to see you. Um, I might get to see you tomorrow because I think John has a golf tournament. So maybe I'll get to do a video. Not sure. Anyway, and today I'll I have right on a tank top. I don't even know if I showed this to you guys. I don't know when I got it a while ago. It's an Alexander Wang. Um, just one of his tank tops, like the basic tank top. I saw it on a girl on Pinterest and she had it actually tied up in a knot with some boyfriend jeans and it looked so cute. But today I'm just going to wear it kind of tucked in and out. And then this is one of my, I have these on my website. They're the below the belt, um, like the calf hair, this beautiful blue. And then I have the tan one too. And love these. They're not the buckle and everything isn't quite as big as the bell bottom and um, so I have that on with it and then these are the I just got these this week but I ordered another pair of the level 99 um, Sarah jeans and they're the ones that have the kind of like twisted seam and then I just turn them up and these are um, I'll show you the back I love them they look so good with heels and um, I ended up ordering the 26 and it fits perfectly. So, and then these are the shoes. And so for accessories, I have on, um, I decided to just do necklaces today. I, have on, I don't have on any earrings. I have on my bird necklace, which I have these and the big bird necklaces back in stock. I know so many people ask me about that on my website. And then this is from Vicky Beauty GPS. This is the Rebel Pendant from Stella and Dot that she sent me. And then this is the tube necklace from Sheila Fajal. And I think I have some of these left too, but I love this. This has a good weight to be so small, but it hangs pretty. And my nail polish is the Backstage Pass from Yvette from the Carrie Underwood collection. And no fragrance yet. I think I will probably put on my new one, that cocktail one, something like that. So, sorry this was so all over the place. I've got a lot going on, and um, I will see you soon. Bye-bye.